assalamu alaikum class 10th a today we will start unit number 2 of textbook that is chinese new year as you all have done with the reading of this chapter so let's start the theme of this chapter according to the theme of this lesson chinese new year is one of the major festival in chinese culture just like other ethnic communities of the world in china to the new year is the most important day of the year this is the time when time when the family members strive to be with their near and dear ones they regard this as a time to usher out the old year and welcome the new with great festivities and merry making so chinese new year is the chinese festival that celebrates the beginning of a new year on the traditional chinese calendar so let's discuss the some key points of this chapter cleaning houses and new clothes prior to the first day of chinese new year it is customary for the families to thoroughly clean their houses doing this is said to clear out any bad luck from the previous year and to make the house ready to accept good luck for the coming year and all cleaning must be done before the new year's day so there is no chance to accidentally throwing out the good fortune of the new year the second point is that they decorate their houses this is the popular custom for the chinese that uh, they hang up signs and posters on the doors and windows with the chinese word that means luck and happiness and buying flowers for the home is also common place since this symbolizes the coming of spring and new beginning new year's eve dinner On the eve of Chinese New Year it is customary to visit relatives and partake in the last dinner where a number of specific foods are served it is typical for the chinese families to make 8 to 9 dishes for the new year's eve dinner because in chinese language the word 8 means prosperity and the word 9 means long lasting giving good luck gifts it is a traditional practice for adults to give children little red envelopes filled with money in order to symbolize wealth and prosperity for the coming year it is also common for elders to present red pockets red packets to unmarried members of the family honoring the animal every year is associated with one of the 12 animals of the chinese zodiac these animals are often represented in decorations and some people believe that those born during the new year of a particular animal may have the corrected traits of that animal so chinese new year is a time when the family should come together in order to give thanks for the year that has passed and reinvigorate invigorate themselves for the coming year well student let's start the grammar topic related to, to this chapter that is collective nouns collective nouns are names for a collection or a number of people or things words like group herd and array are collective nouns examples in linguistic a collective noun is a collection of things taken as a whole most collective noun nouns Uh, in everyday speech are not specific to one kind of thing such as the word group which can be applied to people a group of people or cats a group of cats or other things some collective nouns are specific to one kind of thing especially terms of venery which identify groups of specific animals so uh remember that nouns are words naming people animals places and things here are some examples uh, that explains the use of collective noun bright is uh, used as a term of venery always refers to lions never to cows the next example is our class took a field trip to the natural history museum here class is used as a collective noun the town council has approved plans to create a new park here the world council is refers to words collective noun so here is the list of common collective noun 
contain words that describe group groups of animals peoples or things the herd a uh, herd a group of herbivore animals pack a group of canine animals such as wolves or dogs flock a group of birds group a very general term used to describe people places things and animals gang usually used to describe a group of criminals uh describe the group of criminals also used to describe a group of workers particularly sailors staff a group of people who work in a same place crew is usually used to describe aircrafts and ship personnel and uh, it also used to denote a group of workers thank you